Hey guys, how's it going? It's me again, Ashley. If you are joining me tonight, I am, um, I'm think I'm making a pivot because realistically I listened to myself the last couple of episodes or shows or whatever you call these vlogs, whatever the case is. And uh, I realized I'm like, I'm not doing any service. I realized why I had those people in my life. And I think it's because I wasn't uh, responding more so to you all than I was to just thinking about myself. So I've realized I'm like, I've got a lot of knowledge and I think it's better if I just like spill out knowledge instead of talking more about my problems, even though they are very uh instrumental in the whole process and maybe you gathered something from my last videos that you might be facing however this is a totally different video so where I'm going to start off with is uh, for those of you that may have watched my other videos I have been <laughs> trying to do my um, my readings out on the streets or at parks uh, especially parks and realistically it's been a lot harder than I thought it would be and that's okay uh realistically what I found while I was doing it was that people were more intimidated to do the readings because essentially they didn't know what a higher self was so I started really thinking I found like when I would be packing up or leaving a site and then going somewhere else or whatever people would then come up to me and be like by the way we saw you uh what's a higher self? So I was like, you know what? I think people are more interested in knowing what a higher self is than getting a reading. So I'm going to, you know, keep spewing out the stuff I do know about. And the thing is, is that what I provide, the readings I can do are kind of hard to like really get people videotape because like they're already intimidated to come do one. And then, uh, <laughs> they, they don't know what they're asking for so I was like today's topic that I'm going to focus on I think from now on I'm just going to do topics that I'm uh, well versed in and today's topic is going to be about higher selves so uh, what I'm capable of doing is connecting to higher selves anyone's higher self uh, and if you ever should want to connect to your higher self uh, dm me on instagram I'll put the link down in the video um I feel like I, I should be spreading more knowledge instead of worrying about what I'm doing because I think it's for the betterment of the good and that's where I think I need to put my focus in. So from now on, that's what I'm going to do with a splash of maybe my life. <laughs> so what's a higher self? How do we get to know them? Tips and tricks that I've experienced in my life that I found helped me. So I'm going to share that with you guys. And uh, realistically, do we have one? Do we have many? What's going on on that side of things? So I'll hop right into it. Basically, what a higher self is and why it's different than, let's say, a guide or angels. Not to say that angels couldn't be your higher self. Uh, that is the case for some people. A higher self is different than ancestors, passed on loved ones, etc. Simply because they are you. They are a version of you in a higher state, in a higher uh, sense of awareness. However, they are tethered and they are, I'm not going to say like fractals, but they're like, they are you. They, they, they share the core understanding that you share and they're just fulfilling their life in a different realm, dimension, time, or space. So the thing is, is that they will be the most impactful in terms of understanding who you are as a person because they're you. So they're just an elevated uh, from a different viewpoint. So they have more information or have traversed things or either um, evolved higher that they have a lot more awareness than the average bear. So... That's one way that you can always distinguish what a higher self is versus any other um, thing that I just mentioned. Now, back to what I was saying about angels, right? Uh, angels can be a higher self, okay? And the thing is, is that the angels uh, do also uh, get broadened out to everyone. So you will have an angel. It doesn't necessarily mean that your higher self will be an angel. So I wanted to clarify that. But some people do, okay? 
The next thing I wanted to talk about is um, when it has to do with a higher self. Um, do we have one? Do we have some? Do we have more? Do people have more than others? That also depends on, I guess, your soul's evolution. And also at the same time, too, um, you can have all of them. It's just who do you get in contact with is more important, actually. Because for some of us, some of us might just work with one. Some we might work with more. Uh, some we can work up to the highest levels, but that depends on the person. I am just speaking on myself. So what I wanted to talk about too was I kind of did a little diagram on my uh, board. I love my boards. Uh, so I will be getting better at this. I do understand that editing and everything is very important and I've made calls. I've made, you know, the things I need to do to try to figure out how to do all this because once I figure it out, I like to be good at things. Right now, I'm still a late bloomer to this, so I'm doing this old school, so I'm using the boards, but bear with me. I think knowledge is what's most important. So the way I do it may be archaic to you, but it's still old time tested and true. So, ergo the board. Uh, here we go. So, I kind of drew what my version of how I see it works. Um, and I, I want you to take notice that it kind of looks like in the shape of a rainbow. Us in the 3D, we're down there. That's my little man. And it goes all the way, as you see, at least till my board's top is 16, but... Uh, because of the type of, of uh, understanding I have with higher selves, given that this is what I've been more privy to, it's kind of like um, my ability in a sense. So this is the way I see higher selves. They can rank all the way to 22 um, and 22 levels or 22 dimensions or 22 higher selves, whatever way you want to put it. There is higher levels past 22. They can reach all the way to 72, probably more, but I've been told only up to 72, and that's more etheric. So there isn't a per se body. There could be energies, different forms of energies, but it's etheric. So that's uh, what I'll say about that. Now, we are in the three, right? We are in the three. We are trying to get to five. And basically, right now, most of us tend to talk to our five, our seven, maybe for some of us our nine, and so forth. The reason why I did these ones is because, from what I've seen at least, these tend to be what I would call the stronger staple um, uh, dimensions or realms, whatever way you want to put it. Basically, uh, from what I can gather, if you can look at it this way is like things like this. If we're a three, we have two down here, right? We have four. What I've noticed is that there is some bleed through between these two dimensions. And at the same time, it's like they're not fully different than our current dimension. So it's more of like, if you want to put it this way, they are versions of our existence, our current existence. So I would say like four and two tend to be closest to what, like what we see in our everyday life, maybe a more vibrant in one and uh, more dark in the other. Uh, for you, it depends. Maybe you don't see it a different shade of gray as some people do. But I've noticed that the ones that are more permeating are the five, the seven, the nine, the 11, the 13, the 15. Uh, 12 is big too. I'm not saying it's not. It's the biggest, uh, I would say, at least for what we interact with as 3Ds. Um, that may be the high, you know, some might not get past 12. Uh, some have past 12. Uh, so the reason why I wanted to point that out is because you can be talking, I mean, if you get very well versed, you can talk to all of them, I would imagine. Uh, I myself have only real contact with my five, my seven, my 12, my nine, and 10 and 11 I'm not familiar with yet. So you could see, like, even though I've been do at this for years, I still have to, like, I'm aware of what they are or who they are, but I've never conversed or had deeper conversations. And it may be because it's not in their realm of understanding, and that's exactly what higher selves are very good at. Even though they are you, they have different capabilities. They have different things that they're good at. And also at the same time, too, 
Um, when you're when you're dealing with a higher self, you are actually in a line with them. People say it's a cord. For me, I say it looks like a totem. Like, you know, those native totem poles. That's the way I like to look at it. But it's different for everybody. The reason why I drew it like a rainbow here is just to kind of give the idea of the illusion of it being higher and higher. So their pers the advantage point of someone from a higher perspective, not only do the technologies change, do the um, levels of understanding of evolution, um, age change uh, as you go up. So what that means is that basically you can not only you can have aliens that are uh, your higher selves. And the thing is, is that once you pass 12, 12, I believe, is a higher uh, angel, um, angel, echelon, um, dimension. And after 12, it tends to be a lot more different in terms of how uh, they deal with you or talk to you. So below 12 tends to be more closer in range as to how the layout of, like, let's say, for example, duality is, is still present. Some places still have things like gravity. Sometimes they are, like for example, my five currently is in the same space, but not the same time. So their vantage point is um, is still ahead of mine, but it's also conducive to what happens in three. So the thing is, is like, like let's say for example, like you know how uh, you have a satellite that's up in space that can see how the weather patterns are going to be. Nine times out of 10, they're not correct because things on, you know, evolve as quickly as they do. I'm not comparing it to that, but that's kind of an idea. Sometimes the five will have timeline layouts that they see presently that will alter and change because of something that happens in the three in our existence. And I hope I'm not losing you yet. So the five is pretty close to um to you in terms of time frame like they can see only so far but yet they're very helpful um like for myself i do most of my work with my seven uh seven is also an angelic realm realm is a relative word but i'll leave it for realm or di uh, dimension because that's the easiest way that people understand it so now i'm going to move over to after doing all that talking if you are somebody that has an idea of what I'm talking about, then great. But if you're somebody that just got totally confused by what I said, um, you might just want to say how or how do I recognize this? How do I do this? Um, for me, I'll give you three different ways that I found in my life that may be helpful for you. So the first one I want to point out is numbers. A lot of people are very familiar with this. Like if you've seen my videos before, I always used to say that I would say 316. But I would see other numbers as well. And the thing is, is what I've realized over time is sometimes like when you haven't connected, this is a very good tool to learn how to connect. And the reason why I say this is because like, let's say, for example, for me, like if I see 555 or 777 or 999, um, what you have to kind of do is like freeze frame for that moment and like take a good thought about like what you're thinking about at that moment. Sometimes you could be like walking down the street saying to yourself like, oh, you know, I got to go pay that cell phone bill. And if I pay the bill, then I'll free up my money for buying that laptop for that project. That could be how your brain is thinking at that moment. And then all of a sudden you'll see 555. That to me was always like a, a number sequence that I was like, oh, something's, something's clicking, something's clicking. And the thing is, is that I tended to find that I was always associating it with my hire. Um, I've realized that that may not be what it is, but it helped me get there. So I used to say to myself, okay, so my five likes this idea. And in that brief moment, this will take a long time to perfect or get, or maybe if you have it innately, then you'll be a lot faster at it. Or if you catch these things faster, then you'll be better at it. But if you can think about what you're thinking about at that moment, was it a good idea? Was it a bad idea? Was it an idea at all? Thought forms come in, you have to kind of inspect what you said and then feel the resonance at that moment when you're recognizing that you had a brilliant moment, let's say. And that resonance, that is basically inside of you, okay? It's like as if like you hit a tuning fork and it's like bing. So the thing is, is that for me, when I would catch those numbers, I would feel the resonance and I would do something like 
like throw out my rod, you know, like fishing. Like I would catch the fish and I would hold on to the resonance and I would ask a question, something like, oh, do you think that's a good idea? And then telepathically, because you feel the resonance, it's like for once you realize like you're locked in with that resonance and that person comes aligned in your your stream, if you want to call it a stream or your totem or whatever, your cord, whatever way you want to put it. Uh, for me, then that was how I started to piece together that I was in contact with a version of me. Because the thing that was different is like in my life, like I said, I've had messengers, I've had angels, I've had different uh, contact uh, with uh, departed, etc. In my past, uh, you know, previous time of of uh, ascension the last time when I, you know, flip-flopped. But a higher self, the only reason I knew it was different was because it was resonating. It was vibrating in me. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this is a different feeling. Okay, so that's one way you can connect with a higher self and know it's a higher self versus any other uh, being that you may come in contact with. Another way you can figure it out too is with the ringing of the ears. So we can ring in the right, ring in the left. Okay. Uh, some people say like, oh, left is light side. This is night side or dark side, the right. Uh, the way I want to say it is that your hires can be either. Okay. And the reason why I say it's either is because it rolls back to this. Like people might be scared by what I'm saying, but please understand me. Things like evil do exist. Yes, I totally am on board with that. But what I'm trying to say is that um, evil is a, is a very encapsulating word, okay? There is also dark periods of time in people's lives. There's dark thoughts that come into people's heads. And the thing is, is that even as much as we can try to always be on the light side... You just saw my last videos. I was slipping, slipping, slipping <laughs> to the other side. So the thing is, is that even your hires can also resonate at a frequency that is not of full light. Okay? Or they could be full dark. Or they could be a little this way or a little that way. And the way I like to show it is like this. Okay? Do so you see up here? I have the dark, right? And then I have the white balls. I like to look at it like an abacus, okay? And if you don't know what an abacus is, it's a, uh, a Chinese mathematician uh, or arithmetic tool that you can counter and count things. And that's kind of how I always saw my hires calibrated was based on that type of like metric, like, you know. And the thing is too, we do too. So what I was trying to say about my last videos, it was like I was going through something. I was going through a little a little dark blip because I was needing to see a, a loop that I wasn't facing. And it was steering me farther away from the Christed consciousness. And because I was getting away from the Christed consciousness and I was focusing more on myself, I was focusing more on myself. If you actually watch my video, I am actually the reason for the problem. And the thing is, is that I was coming from a place of ego. So therefore, I was being shown my ego within my my day to day life. And because I made it all about me, that service to self. So therefore, I was working in a negative thought formed parameter, if that makes any sense. Because the thing is, is that it's not about me. It's about you all. It's about us. It's not about me just bitching and crying about my situation and that was where I went very wrong. So I want to just say that even though I can be fully on the light, like my, my wish, my will, my want is for the light always, doesn't mean that we always perform in the light. Like given certain times, days of the week, certain <laughs> moods, certain emotions, and the thing is, is that as we try to keep fighting to go to the right or to the left, I'm sorry, I was doing right, but it was showing up on there. I meant left. Um, we will have to understand that 
we are always evolving. Like I made note of that, I move on. So our hires, just like us, are living their own lives. And at the same time, they're facing their own dilemmas and their own things and their own pressures and their own lineages. So they technically can be more so on either side. But the thing is, is that it's still you. So the 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 whole basis will always end up that they're not going to jeopardize your well-being because in essence it'll jeopardize their well-being so they are not going to dissuade you to a place of like oh shattering darkness so please understand or as others say understand that this is not like black and white well i mean the abacus is but i'm saying it's more so to do with are you trying to help the universe or are you just trying to help yourself and your little clique and your little this and your little that like when you start doing that that's when you start to get away from the whole and that's what's going to lead me to my next topic which is over here with 12 13 14 15 and on um, those are the upper dimensions. Those are the upper echelons. Um, if you should be privileged enough to contact or have contact with any of these, uh, and these hires, um, you will notice that the resonance is a lot different. Um, for those of you that have your eye on, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For those of us that haven't got it on yet, Again, when I had it on last time, I could really feel the resonance and I could really hear the <laughs> resonance uh, because I had my throat, I had it all on before. Uh, but this time, because my, my eye, I have like my inner eye, I don't know how to explain this. To me, there's always been two eyes. There's the outer one where you see past the veil and then there's the inner one, which is like your innate knowingness of self. Uh, so that's why I'm saying this, like the resonance, I could still feel it. I hear them telepathically, but it's not like when I had my eye on, because when I had my eye on, I could see, like, see them. But now it's like, ah, I can still kind of see them like a mental picture, but it's not the same experience at all. Either way, upper echelon, upper dimension, if you do, and this is how you'll recognize this, you will know that it's them because... They tend to be very solemn, very devoid of anything above whole emotion. And they're always looking for the highest good or the highest possibility. So if you are speaking to an entity that is shaking you to your core, that is um, booming voice, like, oh, I, the, the best way I could describe it is like, did you guys, ever, I'm sure pretty much all of you may have watched Never Ending Story, but the best way I could describe it is when Atreyu is in that swamp and he's talking to like that turtle, there's that old turtle that's so ancient that's sitting there and is like, you guys are bothering me. <laughs> And the tree was like, but I need to know. I need to know. We look like that to an upper echelon being because we are in our emotional, you know, heartfelt, if not heartfelt selves. And an upper dimensional being is so well-rounded, like they've already like elevated so high that those menial emotions are not encapsulations of the whole emotion of like, let's say love, something to that capacity they find it very childish. So uh, if you are ever in communication with a 12, uh, most likely it's because you're doing something very detrimental to your, your timeline and or your blueprint or something to that effect. Maybe that'll be my next topic, blueprints and how we... What are they? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so that's a that's a different topic for another day. Uh, but back to this, the upper echelons, that's how you'll know. They're very devoid. It's very Gandhi-esque. It's very like Buddhic. Uh, it, you know, that's where they roll. They roll over there. So um, that's how you describe the upper dimension, upper echelons, which is 12 and above, angelic 12 and then above. And again, they can be aliens. And the thing is, is that if they are aliens, they are freaking ancient. And when I mean ancient, I don't mean eons. I mean like millions, maybe even billions. I wouldn't put it past them. Maybe that's the 22 on. I have no idea. 
I haven't gotten, you know, privy to that lounge. And I don't need to be yet because I'm still here. It's like one of those things, like, when you are there, you're there. You know, you're not here anymore. I'll tell you that much. You're you're there, uh, so you're not here. Um, but that's basically what I wanted to talk about today. And there was one other one. Sorry, I apologize. There was one other one for how else you could f you can attach or get catch the uh, resonance, as I was saying. The last one was called patterning. And what patterning is, is like, let's say, for example... Um, and I'll just use like a modern day, whatever situation. Um, let's say for example, you see the same sequence of an event or the same clip, let's say of a movie, uh, you like, I'll use modern day. Like, I don't even know. Let's say, uh, you saw like a line out of like, uh, avatar and, uh, basically you heard that line when you were like drinking coffee in the morning, listening to the radio, they just put a clip of it, something weird like that. Then for some reason, when you're going to work, you see the same like line on the bus of, of, of an advertisement it, and you start to see these synchronicities of, uh, it could even be like somebody talking, saying the same line, like, oh, it's crystal clear, something like that. You know what I mean? Like over, and you see this congruency within your day. You don't really hear that statement said that way many, many times in one day. So by like the fifth or sixth time that you're seeing this continuous pattern and it tends to be in a one day, I would say, usually it's like freaky like that. Um, if you say to yourself something like, oh, this is weird. Why am I seeing this? Like I'm seeing this a lot. Usually when those weird glitchy things happen, like when, you know, Keanu saw the cat in the matrix and they're like, oh, stop. It's a deja vu. There's a glitch. It's not saying that this is a glitch, but what I'm trying to say is like, it's something weird like that. That if you do catch that patterning, that weird synchronicity thing that happens within a day and you question it nine times out of ten, when you question it and you catch that vibe of like weirdness because you're like, uh oh, this is going out of the box. That resonance technically will be the same type of idea of you like throwing the thing and reeling in the fish again. So if you notice that you have a pattern that's happening within a day, like a weird occurrence over and over and over again, the last time or like before you go to bed, if that's the last one you think you'll see for the day, question it and then see if you catch that resonance. And that will be probably another way to connect with the higher because that might be something that they're trying to get your attention with. So just saying. And on that note, that is all I am privy to say right now about higher selves. I'll definitely do some more. I do channel my higher selves all the time. I, like I said, I'm doing these readings out on the streets and it's, it's, it's weird to say the least because it seems like people just want to know more about higher selves. So I got to see, I got to pivot. I got to change the way I'm doing this. And like I said, I'm a work in progress. If you do want to subscribe, I'm going to figure out how to do these subscribe buttons. I'm going to, I'm going to soup this up. Okay. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Just be patient with me. I'm a single mom. I got stuff to do too. And I know everyone's busy and ha. Okay. But for now, this is my piece on higher selves and I hope it helps. I love you all. Blessings to all and have a great night.